I'm Jerry Guillotine and welcome to Geekly Trends where I'm going to give some quick blurbs about some of the geeky trends that have gone on this past week. Maybe not in headline news, but lately I've been playing a lot of Dead Rising 4 and it is so much fun. It is probably the best game in the series that I've played, although admittedly I haven't played 2 or the, the 2 DLC about Frank West. I haven't played that, but after playing this game I really do want to go back and replay the series because uh, I never finished one and I only beat 3. Uh, but I'm having a lot of fun. They got rid of a lot of the time constraints that were kind of uh, staples of the game where you have like six days to do this whole thing or you have like five seconds to run across the world and fight zombies. Um, they got rid of all of that, which I'm very thankful for. I'm still not in love with the idea of my weapons breaking, but I, I get why that's there. Um, and it's not the biggest problem. It's, it's not a problem. I just, I, I'd like to have a, a weapon that doesn't break or a gun that doesn't run out of ammo or to not run out of health. Like, I just, just let me enjoy the story. I want to be invincible when I play a game, but I'm having a lot of fun playing Dead Rising 4. It's, it's, uh, it's a great game. Uh, kind of a downer ending though for a, such a fun and funning game. Season 4 of Sherlock premiered over the weekend on Sunday with the sixth Thatchers. It was a very big episode. I don't want to give too much away, but I was internally screaming for about a day after I watched it. Uh, I cannot wait for the next episode uh, to see. I think it's The Lying Detective. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. It is still, in my opinion, one of the best shows to ever be on TV. Congratulations goes out to Felicia Day, who was apparently pregnant, very much showing, and uh, about to give birth. Like, this isn't, like, a recent announcement. Like, she's apparently been pregnant for a minute. Either she didn't make it known and didn't announce it, or I didn't see it. I have noticed that she wasn't on Co-Optitude for a while, but I figured she was kind of doing her own thing. Well, apparently that own thing is being pregnant, so congratulations to her. Um, I suppose I just have to resign that her and I will never be together, but uh, I wish her the best, and, uh... I'll always love you, Felicia. Another thing that happened over the weekend was a new year, the start of 2017, and we started it with a pretty uh, pretty funny prank in California. In Los Angeles, California, someone changed the Hollywood sign to read Halloween overnight, and uh, I, it, it was pretty funny. I got a good laugh out of it. The rest of the country got a good laugh out of it. Um, the response to it was, it's not really an original prank. They did it before in like 1970-something. I was like, I don't care if it's an original prank. It's really funny. Uh, so, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like any damage was done to it, but it's still, you know, a, a, a little pretty big prank that uh, I really enjoyed seeing. So hopefully 2017 will be the year of really good pranks uh, that would make up for a lot of the bullshit that's gone on in 2016. Those are just some of the geekly trends that have happened over the past week. Check back next week for more. Thanks for watching and have fun.